Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In previous video, I will show you how to create the class library or how to create the DLL file in our Qt. So in this video, I will show you how to use that library in our Qt application. So let's create one Qt application. Select your Qt widget based application. Write your project name here. Qt check class library. Okay, click on next again. Select your build system. Click on next. Okay. Or here you have to select your project kit selection. Okay. Make sure just select same as which is selected in your class library. I'm we are select our QT MSVC 2015 or 64 bit QT, uh, kit in our library so here we have select same and click on next okay so this is our class library and this is our qt widget based application okay here we have to change the turn of the shadow build to save the all the files and just build the application open this file in so in explorer so you can see the debug folder was created successfully. Now just simply copy your class library.dll file in your application run directory. This is your application run directory where your application.exe file is located. Okay. Now just simply click select the application uh, project and click on add library. Select here external library. Click on next just simply your platform i am working on windows so i just simply uncheck the linux and make or here you have to add to your library.header file path so just i am just simply copy the library header file and define your header file path here okay include path where your header file is located now select your library in debug folder we select this file lib file okay click on next and finish so you can see our library path was successfully added in our application project now just simply include our header file qt class library dot h okay now just simply create our class library object qt class library okay class now just simply assign the new memory qt class library okay now we call our functions which is defined in our header file or our class library so these are the function was we define in our library so just simply call that function okay so you can see our we cannot call the private function in this application just because of that function is not accessible outside the class so we just change the call me function okay now let's run the application so when call me function was called there is a first of all call the print the first message and this is the second message so let's see wait for build so you can see the hello class library message was printed first and this is the function is public which is defined in our call me function and hello class library which is defined in and write in our hello uh, hello function and hello function is private okay now call the other functions call the add function write pass it to arguments integer equal to 100 and integer b equal to 200 change here 200 or 300 whatever you can say okay now pass the values parameter also write the message 
add function just simply copy the lines sub function multi function and here division function change the name call the sub multiple and division okay now let's run the our application and see the result sorry here is the change b uppercase okay now let's run again so you can see the results 200 plus 100 is equal to 300 subtraction function result multiplication and division respectively okay so by this way you can easily call the library function in your qt application now let's take two values from the user so just simply add the two line edit control and second add push button to print the result create the error. now just simply print all the values take two arguments from user a equal to ui line edit one text dot to in 30 integer okay and second argument is our b argument which is from come from library line edit 2 okay now let's run the application now write here 500 and write here 100 okay now click on push button so you can see the result 500 plus 100 is equal to 4 600 and other is result 500 is divided by 100 is 5 so by this way you can easily create the class library and use that class library in your application or also you can see how to get the value from the user and pass that value in our library function so please drop your comment if you, if you have any question share my videos with your friend subscribe to my youtube channel please like the my video and press the bell icon to get the notification of next new videos and thanks for watching my video thank you